Hey everybody, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and welcome to this installment of Customer Build Spotlights, a series where we feature and talk to different customers from our customer build profile pages right here at AmericanMuscle.com. Now on these profile pages, you are gonna find thousands of Mustang builds along with customer submitted photos, along with a detailed modification list. So you can see what owners are doing with their own rides at home and hey, maybe give you a few ideas for your own Mustang in the driveway or garage. Now some of these builds are certainly gonna be a little bit more appearance based, some are gonna be more performance based, and we will have a healthy mix of both. Now today's episode does feature Lee and his 2017 EcoBoost Mustang. We found Lee because he has submitted a ton of photos to our site, but more importantly, those photos have received thousands and thousands of likes from fellow customers. Now, if you wanna check out more about Lee's ride, feel free to check out his customer build profile page, along with his list of modifications and future mods in his wish list. And if you're watching this on YouTube, just feel free to click on the link below. But for now, I say it's time to meet Lee. Hey, good morning, Lee. How are you? Good morning. Outstanding, enthusiastic. How are you today? Doing great, thanks. So, Lee, we're going to talk about your 2017 EcoBoost here today. And um, it's obvious that you've really gone heavy into the appearance and the visual side of the modifications. Now, can you explain, if you will, your inspiration behind the build itself, sir? Actually, it's two parts here. The inspiration deals with my job in the Air Force as a military training instructor and we wear a blue rope on our campaign hats. Now, I'll have to pull this over. I don't know if you can see this, but this is the uh, the campaign hat with the blue rope. The car itself is a tribute to all the past and present master military training instructors that have served in the Air Force. Uh, do you get to get your uh, gunny on? I mean, do you chew these kids out sometimes or what? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> now we know the theme, right? And that was pretty prevalent with your photos, uh, which by the way, are, are very much well received on our site. And again, you got thousands of likes on your photos, which I think is the whole point of this video. It's very helpful for guys like you who do these modifications for other owners to see maybe how these modifications affect their own ride. Well, Lee, let's just ask you, if you will, sir, to give us a virtual walk around of the car, if you will. Talk about some of your mods. Again, I know you have a lot of appearance stuff going on under on the car itself and a lot going on under the hood. So why don't you say we start there? Under the hood, the very first thing that I changed was the uh, plastic cover. Well, I had a, a two-tone chrome paint put on it, uh, kind of like a, an amnized blue with the chrome on the side. And then I got the uh, extenders for the uh, radiator. Yeah, love those. So that that's from MMD. They extend the factory yeah. rad cover up and kind of cover up some of the ugliness up front there, and it really cleans up the look. Yeah, it gives it a more uh, finished look. And I had those painted also to match all the other gloss black that was going on. And then I put in the uh, the polished aluminum uh, hood liner. Okay. And you said that's and the showstopper for you, right? Yes. Yes, it is. That's yeah. awesome. I did notice a lot of the billet under the hood from Modern Billet, the yeah. dress-up kit, which really pops. And I'm sure being the show guy like yourself, that kind of stuff really does make a big impact when you're getting judged, correct? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah you, just, you have to keep it clean. <laughs> that's the hardest part, man. Absolutely. Now, I also noticed you got an air raid in there, too. So you threw a little performance at the car, right? Yes, I, yeah, I got the uh, the drive filter. Okay. Because um, it's blue, right? Part, yeah, with the blue filter. How'd yeah. I guess? <laughs> you also have a lot of stuff going on um, outside the car as well. Again, we talked about the blue, uh, the black and blue theme. Um, yeah. Let's start up front. You have that lower chin from Foose, correct? Yes, I, I disinstalled that just recently, actually. Uh, the first warm day we had uh, in March. Let's see, the uh, side scoops from, uh, I think that's the MMD. V, yeah, the V-Series, MMD V-Series yeah. side scoops. Those are awesome. Uh, we also yeah. noticed uh, you blacked out the headlights as well with the covers. You like those? Yeah. And then I bought pre-painted lightning blue a uh, bezel that goes over the lights. The tail light trim, yes sir, I know exactly yeah. what. Yep, I think it's a sharp look and I love the blue and black thing you got going on. And again, I know it's a nod to the um, the instructor aspect that we covered earlier. Also the wheels, I know they're stock wheels, but the, the blue treatment, how'd you guys do that? I uh, took it to a shop and had them install uh, blue metallic vinyl. Oh, okay. And outside of the hood, that's, I get more compliments on those wheels. Usually when I pull into a show, that's the first thing they notice because 
the, it catches the light and it looks like it's lit. They do look really sharp that way. Now let's let's go inside because I think outside of the engine bay, in the interior of the car might be the second most modified area. It looks like, at least to my eyes. Tell me about some of the modifications you have going on in there. The very first thing I did in the inside, I purchased um, shifter from you guys, the blue shifter. Yeah, I saw that. And yeah, I put that in there, and then I just started getting the polished aluminum uh, bezels for all the speakers. Got a set of um, WeatherTech mats. So I customized those. I noticed I you gave those the lead treatment. <laughs> yeah, I, I bought the uh, the Pony Tri Bar, that vinyl sticker from you guys. I got two of those and put them on the, uh, the floor mat. You even gave them some blue pinstriping, I noticed, too, in some yeah. of the photos. Yeah, I sure did. They're a Lee special. <laughs> yes. That's right. Yeah. Oh, I also got a set of those um, Pony covers for the ventilation oh, the system. vents. Yeah, I did see those. Yeah, the, yeah. <laughs> they actually had a nice little touch. Um, the last thing I did um, that's noticeable is just the uh, um, carbon fiber accents. And it, and it really looks good. I didn't go crazy with the carbon fiber, just enough to, to accent a little bit to, I guess, up my game on the interior. I wasn't getting enough scores on the interior on the car shows. So uh, I figured, well, maybe if I just pop in a little carbon fiber, it might make a difference. Hey, it seemed to work because you won uh, best in show, at least at our show last year for the 2015 yeah. and newer crowd, right? Which you actually have an interesting story behind. Uh, <laughs> I won the trophy, but I never got credit for it because my son-in-law, Chris LaFrancis, bought me a ticket for Father's Day. We went to the show, but he handed me the wrong ticket. He gave me his ticket. So when they announced for the sixth gen, they called his name. All right, 2015 and newer S550 class, Chris LaFrancis, best in class, Chris. He popped right up there, even though he knew he didn't have a sixth gen. Took the trophy, took the picture with the- the uh, With the AM girls. Yeah, and then came back and <laughs> handed me the trophy and said, hey, I think this belongs to you. Oh, that's funny. It seems like you left no stone unturned, really, uh, on the interior and in the engine bay, really. And I know we talked a little bit about maybe some performance modifications after that warranty uh, goes away, yeah. maybe. Anything in mind in particular with uh, performance stuff? Yes, I definitely want to get a bigger intercooler. Um, I hesitate to, but I think I want to get a bigger turbo. I want to shoot for, I think I can feel comfortable with 400 horsepower without trying to blow up the engine. Cause I'm not racing anybody. I'm not, you know, all about that racing, but it would be nice at the car shows. Well, what do you got in there? Well, 400 horsepower. Yeah, yeah. new intercooler, tune and downpipe, and you'll be well on your way. Definitely um, a tune and um, the downpipe. You're very calculated, Lean. It certainly looks great in the final product. I mean, it's you nailed it. I mean, the black with just the right amount of blue, I think you really nailed the look you're going for. Again, I can't thank you enough for taking part in uh, our customer build and our customer spotlight. Again, you've done a great service, not only to your country, but also to uh, many Mustang fans out there, providing really great information and photos to all of our customers. And obviously, they are, are digging them because the likes are within the hundreds and thousands. So thank you for doing that. My and, pleasure. Uh, that's and awesome. thank you uh, to American Muscle for supporting all my uh, uh, modifications. Hopefully your wife doesn't get too upset at us for that. Well, no wife, but my <laughs> daughter my daughter does yell at me. Whenever I come home with a trophy from the show, she basically says, uh, how much did that trophy cost you? Uh, so, <laughs> I think a lot of us car guys can relate, right? Yes, yes. Well, Lee, again, thank you so much. The car is beautiful, nice work. Thank and. You. Um, We'll look forward to seeing you at a, uh, another show next year, okay? Okay, I'll be there. All right, take care. All right, thank you. All right, well, that's gonna do it for us. And hey guys, if you wanna see a full breakdown of Lee's modifications, along with a host of other cool Mustang builds, feel free to check out the customer build profile pages at AmericanMuscle.com or simply click on the link below. In the meantime, I'm Justin, thanks for watching. And for all things Mustang, keep it right here at AmericanMuscle.com.